Hey guys, today we're making our Zentangle project. Um, I'm going to show some Zentangles from some previous years. One year we did a, we picked the first letter of our name and we did a Zentangle letter. And we made Zentangle patterns inside of the letter. Another year we did a Zentangle heart where we traced a heart and then we broke up some different sections inside the heart and made Zentangle patterns inside the heart. And then this year we're going to make a Zentangle hand by tracing our hand. Okay, so the first thing on your white paper, you're going to put your name up at the top. Really neat handwriting. Next, we're going to trace the hand. Now you're going to want to do this in pencil. Now, so get your pencil ready. I'm left-handed, so I need to trace my right hand. So you're gonna trace your opposite hand. Make sure when you're tracing this that your hand is in the middle of the paper and your fingers are really spread apart. So spread out your fingers really wide. Make sure your hand is in the middle. And I'm just gonna try to keep my hand really glued to the paper. It's really hard not to move your fingers around while you're doing this. But just take your time. Since we're doing it in pencil, we can always erase mistakes. And then keep going and tracing until your wrist goes off the page. It's kind of hard to see, but I finished my pencil hand. Now this is the part where I'm going to trace and outline with a Sharpie to make my hand stand out. Okay. It looks the best when you have a really thick outline. So I gave that one outline around, but to make it stand out even more, I'm going to do a double outline. So I'm just going right next to the line that I already traced to make the line even more thick. It kind of looks like this. See how this line was the only line I did and I started making it really dark. So I'm going to go around the whole hand and do that. Take your time. My hand's a lot bigger than your hand, so you guys can definitely have some time to catch up. Now while I'm doing this, I'm going to kind of talk about a Zen tangle. So a Zen tangle, the word Zen is supposed to have a calming meaning. And a Zen tangle is patterns and lines simple pattern in lines that almost anybody can make, polka dots, stripes, okay, and then you're going to use your lines in a creative way to make a design. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute by using our sheet. Um, Zen tangles are used in art because it fosters creativity. It makes your brain, it, it challenges your brain to think in some different ways, like how can I think of multiple patterns just by using some simple lines. So it's a good problem solving project. So on this paper, let's start with the simple one with the design. So on this paper I thought of lots of different ways that I could just use some simple lines. I did like a little V shape and then I thought oh if I turn that around I could make it different. Same thing with this one. So just with one little simple dash, I thought of multiple things that I could do just with one little simple line. You can even incorporate shape, shapes into your Zentangle project. Here I just did a simple triangle. Here I did a simple circle and I started mixing some designs around it. Okay, so use this worksheet to help you out. I've also said in the past, 
Even sometimes letters can be used as a design. I know this is a letter T, but I've used it upside down and it kind of looks like an interesting pattern. So really challenge yourself to think a little bit outside the box on this. Some designs that kids like to use a lot. Um, always we have like polka dots, that's a pretty common design. Swirls, this little star shape, stripes and diagonal lines, wavy lines, zigzag lines. These are most of the common ones that I see and those are okay also to use. Now for this project we're also going to add a little bit of contrast. So if in this box you can see I did some stripes but in between the stripes I colored some of it in. Okay, that's some of the dark spots are going to help your project stand out more as opposed to just doing line. So here's a couple of ways that you could make your designs a little bit darker and show contrast. Here's a cool one that looks kind of like a spider web. Okay. So now, this is the part where we need to break up our hand project. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw a line to kind of section off the fingers. It's kind of like we're cutting the fingers off the hand almost, but not really. Okay, so I'm going to do a different Zentangle pattern in each finger. I'm just giving, these, giving myself some guidelines so I know where to stop. Now in here, let's actually make one on the wrist. In here, this is going to be a really big design. So instead of making one really big design, let's sort of break this up a little bit with some extra lines. And they don't have to be perfect. Just a couple boxes. So now instead of just doing one big design in here, I can do one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 different designs. If you want to challenge yourself even more, you can do even more. Next, I'm going to look at my design and Zentangles paper. And I'm going to start picking some designs to fill into these sections. So let's start with an easy one. Let's start with this dot design. So if whatever section I pick, I'm going to make these dots really small and close together. Okay? So I'm making them really small and close together. What you don't want is just to be rushing and just fill it in really spread out. The more closer the design is, the better. Okay? So start looking at the sheet and you can copy a few off the sheet and then when you start feeling more comfortable with doing some of your own designs, go ahead and do that. Let's do for the next one, maybe I'll pick this X design. Actually, maybe I'll do X's and O's. That might be cool. Do a little pattern. Mm -hmm. Now for this finger, I'm going to do a striped pattern. I'm just doing straight lines across, making sure I stop so I don't go off of the finger. Now to make this even look more interesting, I'm going to color in between to show my contrast. That looks pretty cool. Then maybe up here I'm going to do my, split this in half, I'll do some zigzag. Notice how I'm doing the zigzags really close together to show detail. And then I'll do, maybe on here I'll do wavy lines. Looks pretty cool. All right, next, um, let's pick it to do some bigger polka dots. So 
So again, I'm just following the sheet. I'm starting with some pretty easy ones. All right, let me do... But I picked to do something from a different sheet. Oh, maybe I'll pick this one. So this one, I'm going to find one that looks kind of like a square box. I'm going to make an X. And I'm going to make a line through that. And then I'm going to color in pattern. That's pretty cool. I could go back in and color it in a little bit neater. I could even make some designs in these boxes. Maybe I'll make some triangles inside here. So really the point is you don't want a lot of white space showing left over. All right, here, hmm. Maybe I'll do this one that kind of looks like a spider web. So I'm going to do, oh, actually I'll do this one here. I'm going to make another X plus sign. Then I'm going to add these lines straight across. And the idea is just keep going. Over here I'm going to go around all right I still have a few more to pick. For here I'm gonna make some triangles. Triangles are pretty easy. All right, almost done. Only a couple more designs to go. And here I'm going to make a little swirlies. Again, I'm making them really close together. Can make some star shapes. Haven't done that one yet. Remember to keep the design really small. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna do some stripes on this one and make a checkered box. I'm going to do stripes that way and then box like that. And this one's kind of tricky because you really have to pay attention to where you're coloring. And that's all for now because my next class is about to be here. But as you can see, the more details the better. And then you're finished with your Zentangle project.